This video is sponsored by PellucidFX.com. Hi, this is Saev Moten with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the ForexPisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit ForexPisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Okay, let's take a look again at the gold market. As you can see, the market is really choppy and sloppy in current, in current uh, time since market stand in some sort of the consolidation, this, this overlapping bars, long shadows. It's really a very tricky price action now on the gold market. And you know, formerly we have discussed this potential the stop grabber, that was former stop grabber patient that uh, suggested this possibility to move to the downside but yesterday by this action this candle market has taken out of these highs so that's probably not mm, makes sense to speak about this again uh, to take this more simple picture on the daily time frame we see this some sort of the flag consolidation on the uh, right here and mm, until market stands inside of this flag pattern the probability for this downward A, B, C top still exists. So you can see this potential A, B, C D pattern will give us the agreement with the 60-40 area. So uh, that is also the 7-6-8 FIB support, the deep support from this recent swing to the upside from this low to this high, the 7-6-8 support. So in general uh, our uh, strategy on the daily time frame uh, hasn't uh, changed much. So we need just the level uh, where we uh, will search for the entry possibility on the long side of the market. Since on the long term perspective, uh, the higher time frames, gold still, as I said, uh, has probably the bullish potential. And now we just need to understand where we will uh, enter on the long side of the market. This will happen either with the retracement to the downside or it will happen if market will to the upside taken out of these highs in this case we will start to search for the possibility to enter long from the most recent swing to the upside so that's a uh, pattern that now is uh, determines the potential development of the market from the perspective of the daily time frame there are two moments you have to watch for first of all until market stands above the current year's low we could hope on the bullish development because as I said gold market is very often creates the yearly low in the first quarter this could be the yearly low since market already has tested the weekly, uh, your yearly pivot point with this low returns right back so market now stands above the yearly pivot uh, that's why this move to the downside will be ju uh, just an opportunity to enter as close to the current year's low as possible. That's all. So keep an eye on this flag pattern. If market will break it to the downside, then we will probably get this ABCD pattern at minimum move to the 60-40 area. If conversely market will break it to the upside, in this case, uh, and taking out of these highs, this will be the very significant pretending challenge of the further upward continuation with this ABC pattern to the upside or even with greater patterns on the longer time frame charts. So that is the major pattern to watch for now on the gold market. So probably you could try to trade inside of it. So uh, try to enter short closer to the upper border with the placing stop above these highs. So market will fail very continue move to the downside, take the profit at the lower border. So this is some sort of the scalp trading that's still a bit uh, beyond of the scope of this research, uh, but you, if you are a trade on the lower time frames, on the hourly time frame of the five minute chart, you probably could try to uh, use this tactic because in the previous uh, week, you can see the price action is very sloppy. It's just impossible to take some significant targets on the gold market. Uh, all that traders could do now is take some uh, short targets and take profit fast. On this, based on the some intraday uh, patterns. Now on the 4 hour time frame chart 
we see this sloppy price action as I said it's very long shadows but take a look market holds inside of the pivot points so market has tested on Monday the weekly pivot point continue move to the right back up to the weekly pivot resistance one tested it returns right down tested again weekly pivot point so it's coil around the weekly pivot points inside of this uh, consolidation so on the four hour time frame it could be drawn like the bearish wedge and in fact until market will not break it to the upside and erase this pattern this downward ABCD is still pass possible that is what I will particularly watch for in the gold market take a look also we have this some sort of the divergence with the emissive indicators that is very common for the bearish wedges uh, and I think that market is not done yet with this consolidation I think that um, the downward breakout is really possible it's right here despite the fact that market has tried to erase this patrons that we have drawn on the weekend butterflies and the stop grabbers market in fact by this spike has erased all of them except daily butterfly from that big picture uh, but all short term target uh, patrons that could uh, be used for justification the move to the downside has been erased still market has shown its weakness by the price action on yesterday because if we will take a look first of all uh, based on this picture that we have just discussed the divergence we were bearish wedge that developing currently the second um, is take a look at the hourly time frame that is our top of the stop grabber pattern and the previous top take a look how market behaves around it fast move up taking out the stops that have been placed right above it returns right back that is the Russian rings of the previous highs this is potentially a signal that suggest at minimum in the short term perspective move to the opposite direction that was really significant plunge down as you can see on the hourly time frame now market turns to some retracement so since this is really a wide range of this long candles that market now stands inside of it this low could be treated as the significant so if market will start move to the downside taking out this low the probability of the bearish breakout of this wedge will increase so to show the direction market has to take out either this high or that low since when the market shows some significant uh, range by the, some candles it, it has the tendency to stand inside of this range for the some time for example take a look at the Friday's action of the non-farm payrolls long shadows long range bars market stands inside of it for the some time and only after that it's shown the breakout so that's why this lower I suppose will be significant also because market stands now rather long time inside of this consolidation so the, probably uh, the breakout could happen uh, sooner rather than later so keep an eye on development of this pattern it could be significant also take a look how market protects this area from there pretending of the price action so that is previous area of support this market finds support break it to the downside and the resistance one two three pullbacks so market has protected this area well that's all that I would like to say about the gold we see no action actually we have no um, patterns that we could uh, trade with a relative high probability of success that's why um, it's probably the conservative tactics could be is just wait when the market will resolve the riddle with this consolidation on the daily time frame with this flag or you could call it as the bearish wedge on the four hour time frame if you're a scalp trader you could try to trade inside of the wedge uh, with the entry points closer to the bars and taking the try uh, taking the profit and the opposite borders of this consolidation that's the only one thing that probably could be done within the current trading session because this price section is really very choppy so this is just uh, no patrons inside of it no even uh, clear ABCD patrons so uh, that's why I think that the major resolving 
the solution of this of this pattern uh, will come when the market will find an exit from this uh, bearish flag pattern on the daily. This will be either the failure of this flag since the flag is the continuation pattern. If market will, will break into the upside, this will be the right signal that probably market is ready to continue move to the upside, or market will give us this ABCD pattern. Also keep an eye on this law, as I said, on the hourly time frame, because this could be the significant swing law. If market will take it out, then probably it could suggest that mm, the breakout of the wedge is near.